Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another episode of Attack on Titan. This is Season 2, Episode 10. Just finished up watching Episode 9. So, I'm ready to get straight into Episode 10. It's all fresh on my mind. There's no... Obviously, I'm not doing recaps anymore, but I don't need to watch it again, basically, is what I'm saying. Because it's all in here. I've finished watching it about 10 minutes ago. Just finished the review for Episode 9. Now it's time for Episode 10. Cool, so this is it. It is called Children... And I'm not liking the look of that thumbnail. He's got the, I think he's got past the nick in, and he's talking to another priest. So I'm not really looking forward to what's going to happen. But yeah, let's get into this one. It's called Children. Let's go, baby. Connie Springer, no Goryoshin, no Shouzo Gaka. So no Kano Se wa Takai Kato. Yeah, man, that looks like her. Don't cut it. It spoke last time. Yeah. Yeah. Nante Kotoda. I knew that anyway, baby, but it's nice to get some confirmation. Masaka. Chosa Hedanga. Mo. Chikisha. Raina. Kiniwa ima nanda. Anshin shiro senshida.選手として弓道を信用するというのあいつはマルセルを食ったやつじゃないかああだからこそ弓道の立場は明白だそれにクリスタが可愛いってこと以外にもこっち側に連れて行きたい理由はあるだろうクリスタはウォール教の一族の重
新しい人生には新しい名前が必要だわかるねあの時初めて自分に嘘をついたこのユミル様こそ真に王の血を継ぐ存在ユミル様がおられる限り我らは永遠に不滅だユミル様正直悪い気分じゃなかった<笑>冷えてない飯も地べたじゃない寝床もそうだけどでもあの時<笑>この娘だこの娘が言ったんだ自分は王の血を継ぐ存在だと我々はそれを信じただけだそんなのは全部作り話だったってことを思い出したんだそうなのか<笑> Oh my god Oh, syringe man. They're getting syringed and shit. Watashi wa omotta. Kore wa batsu nan da te. Being a titan is a punishment. Batsu nan da te. Kyojin da! Nigeru! Oh. I never would have guessed that, man. Never. Overheard past the Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Krista. Krista Lenz to you now, what I read. Kunlen Chiokuri not the soda. Demona Krista Dakarate Wakate Kureto, you and I. Tada Saigoni Moichi do dake. Chibunish or chicken in a set of cream. What is it? この地形なら私が一番強い。ユミル、ヨゼ、落ちるぞ。私は別にいいよ。巨人になれば、お前らの巨人より非力だろうが気を伝って素早く動ける。お前からエレンを奪って調査兵団のところに行くことも多分できる
Game on now. Let's go, bruv. Oh no. I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's a good thing the sun didn't go in completely. Let's finish it off. Oh, I can I cannot put my lamp on. Another Why I Yara. Fucking hell man. When episode eight finished, I thought episode nine, this is it. This is literally it. This is what I've been waiting for. Colossal Lama Titan against everyone, like kind of like a round two kind of thing. It's not man. Yumi's actually fully chosen Rhino's side. What the fuck is that all about? She's trying to protect Krista, but she doesn't know fully what the intentions are of Reiner and Bertolt. All they've said to Ymir is that they care about Krista too. They're probably they're gonna give Krista away to someone, man. She's of noble descent, and people were out to kill her. That's why she changed her name. What if they take Krista back to the people that were trying to kill her? Like she's a threat or something. They see her as a threat because she has noble blood. Or maybe when Ymir was that being bowed down to and stuff, they were saying as long as she's here, uh, we have immortality or something. What if that's the case with Krista? What if they what if they want her for that purpose, immortality? What if they want Krista for immortality? Like they need her to be in this uh I don't know, like married to someone in order to get this immortality for everyone. Everyone who worships her gets immortality or something. And the quest given to Reiner and Bertolt was to actually find Krista. That was their plan all along. That's probably why they joined the training camp where Krista was. They made sure they were in the right kind of year. So when Krista joins, they made sure they joined the same year. Ymir actually fell asleep in the ground and then woke up to Reiner Bertolt and their friend Marcel where he sacrificed himself for Reiner that's just really unlucky that's like that's such a coincidence that Reiner and Bertolt were there when Ymir was just having a nap and then she literally woke up out of the ground and they were there straight away it's kind of uh it's very unlucky if you ask me at the end there as well Reiner like went out of the forest he now has Ymir, Bertolt and Eren on his back but he can't run that fast unless he, sh unless he gets rid of the muscle around his leg the little plates that he has because he shedded them off last time so he could run faster he might have to do the same again to run faster because Hans, Hannah's Hans said everyone get on your horses we need to chase them Oh, we had the picture of Connie's mum. Then it got flipped upside down and you can actually see that Connie's mum was a titan. <sighs> Still trying to come to grips with this, man. Still trying to come to grips with it. Ymir said that she was outside the walls for 60 years. That must have been when she was lying down outside. That was when it was 60 years. And as a punishment for lying and have people worshipping her falsely they all got like injected with something and then kicked off the wall because the person before Ymir that got pushed off you could see the flash on the side of the screen and then Ymir got injected you hear like a squelch and then she gets kicked off and then she turned into a titan and then she said it says punishment being a titan is a punishment it's making me think that every titan that they're seeing are actually a victim 
of this of I don't know like it must be like a cult or something a really powerful cult if you don't listen or do what they say they turn you into a titan and just kick you off the edge so every titan you see could be a victim that's why they attack humans and they attack uh, Rhinus Titan and Bertolt's Titan or whatever it is Eren's Titan they attack as well they don't attack each other they just attack humans or maybe the Titans can detect humans in the back of the neck that's why they that's why they attack them and not their own kind of kind because they can't detect anyone in the back I don't know that's just my theory it's just my guess I'm hoping I'm right or I'm on the right path to some of them I mean knowing me I'll probably get none of that right that I just said but it's good though I do like it like it's, every episode gives me like more ideas and that's what I like about TV shows it gives me so much to think about uh, so many twists as well I'm thinking of and it's usually a twist that I've never thought of so it's yeah so hopefully episode 11 is going to kick off hopefully because i've been waiting so long ever since the armored and colossal titan first appeared on this show i've been waiting for the day the day where they have a fight like a big fight i knew it's been coming and the, the there's a bit in the intro where i think owen's running on a horse and the camera's like to the side of him and he's getting out of the way He's like moving out of the way of, of a titan like kind of stepping. He avoids the titan's foot basically by stepping on him. And there's like rocks being thrown and shit. That's the bit in the intro I want. That's what I've been waiting for. And it better happen. Please happen. I mean Reiner's literally running off. With everyone on their back. And Armin and everyone is in the forest. And they can see it now. So they're getting, they're getting closer. They're catching up. But now that there's no tree, they're not in the forest anymore, so they can't manoeuvre as good. Because that's the best place for manoeuvre gear is in the forest because there's so many trees. So it's going to be hard on the open ground. Not much things to cling on to with manoeuvre gear. There we are. I gave in. I've put my lamp on now. It's getting a bit too dark. I don't want you lot to not see me. But yeah, it was a good episode. It's just getting more and more complex. It's, uh, the information starting to come out. Loads and more theories are in my head. Um, I believe I've said the ones I feel more passionate about. The whole Connie's mum being a Titan thing. Could it mean that Connie is a Titan as well? He just doesn't know it. A bit like Erin. I don't know. Could it mean that their Connie's dad maybe is involved? Maybe he's not a Titan, but he could be involved. Like, obviously I've got the theory about Eren's dad being involved. Because we still haven't seen him. Still don't know where the fuck he's gone. Could it be the same for Connie's dad? Connie's dad could have thrown his his Connie's mum on top of the house. Or something, man. You just don't know. You just don't know. I guess you got to keep watching to find out. Ta. I like it though. I love teasing myself. I love asking questions when I can, I can easily watch like the next episode. But I just like putting myself in a state where I'm just thinking constantly of what could happen. It's like Game of Thrones, man. When they took two years to release the last season, I enjoyed the thoughts in my head a lot more than the actual finale. It's weird. But all the theories in my head about Game of Thrones ending... I just love that. I just love the suspense of it all. That's what Attack on Titan is. There's just so much suspense. It makes you just want to keep watching and watching and watching. It's just such a binge-worthy show. But it's a good thing I'm watching episode 11 today as well, and 12. So hopefully I'm going to get some sort of battle somewhere. I fucking hope so, anyway. If they cliffhanger season 2 for the start of the battle, I'm going to be pissed off. But I might even leave it there. Ymir has betrayed Erin, obviously. Um, taken Krista. I still think the whole Krista thing. I mean, I've already said it, man, about the whole blood, immortality. 
if they get Krista, then maybe they can have immortality. Who knows? Erin, I remember Erin actually, his last kind of moments before he got, before he passed out, he saw Ymir talking to Roberto. She said that she'd been outside the walls for about 60 years. So that's some information to possibly tell Hanji. I don't, maybe they don't, I don't know, maybe they don't age when they're a titan and it doesn't affect their human form. Or maybe her titan did age because it did look a little bit different when she came out of the ground. Just the touch, just a li little bit different she looked. But 60 years is a long time. But, I mean, if her titan is 60, then she wouldn't be bouncing off walls. Uh, being up at the fortress a few episodes back filling in bricks at titans bouncing off their necks like yoda but i suppose yoda was quite old wasn't he but ymir i don't i mean she could be 60 she could not be 60 she could just have this like at the same age but my th i don't know i need i want to i want to give like a final answer for that theory i'm gonna say that when you're a titan your human form doesn't age that's what i'm gonna say oh no we know that anyway what was what, what do i want to say being a titan, you can be a titan forever if you stay in the back of the neck, I think. Maybe that's what I'm trying to get at. Maybe everyone at Reiner and Bertolt's hometown, they just want to live forever, but as a human form, not a titan form. That's why they want Krista. That's my guess, man. I'm, I'm going to stop going on about it in case I'm really wrong. I probably am. But the whole power thing with Krista and being a noble family and... The whole Ymir thing when she lied about having King's blood. And then someone said something about immortality. That's kind of got my brain going. About Chris's involvement. Anyway, I'm just going to stop it there because I'm just going to ramble on. And I, and I annoy myself whenever I re repeat the same theories in the same video. But yeah, I'm stopping it there. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction, you can watch the full reactions to this episode over on my Patreon as well as the previous nine episodes you can also watch the whole of series one of attack on titan over on my patreon every episode is up there in full there's no cuts there's no edits all your favorite scenes are in there baby that's how we roll around here uh you've also got early access on my patreon as well so if this is episode 10 you're watching on youtube that means episode 11 and the finale episode 12 is on my patreon as well to watch in full how's that how's that sound so you could sign up sign up to my Patreon right now. You can watch this reaction in full if you wanted to. Don't have to. But you can watch episode 11 and the finale episode 12 before they're released onto YouTube. So if you want to get there before everyone else, that's the best way to do so. And any questions you have or anything that I've said that I'm confused about that you want to tell me about, Patreon is the best way to tell me anything you want to tell me because i upload the i upload the episodes first over there and people tell me first um i don't really pay attention to youtube comments that much when it comes to people explaining the storyline because it's, it's already been explained to me on my patreon so if you want to get involved and be part of the group that's helping me out whenever i'm confused you can but yeah, I'm going to stop going on about that. I hope you enjoyed this reaction again. Thank you as always. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, and I'll see you for episode 11, baby. We're nearly there. Two episodes left of season two, then it's season three. But I'll see you for episode 11. Take it easy.